Hi guys, welcome back to another Transformers toy review. Today we're taking a look at Top Gun Maverick. This is a Transformers crossover piece between uh, obviously Top Gun and Transformers. Um, released, well, it's only just come out, uh, well, this year, um, fairly recently, uh, 2021. But I believe it's got 2020 on there, so I think it was announced last year. So it's uh, part of the uh, sort of collaboration uh, kind of line, I guess. They've obviously done uh, Bats of Future and Ghostbusters and just kind of Top Gun's are kind of next one and on the list here. I'm not familiar with this mould initially. Um, so, yeah, we'll have to take a look at it. But, you know, in this kind of vehicle mode, it looks pretty good in the kind of box that it comes with. Incidentally, if you're watching this this video, this kind of, um, what I'm starting to do now is this kind of first bit where I kind of take a look at the figure um, in its packaging and everything else like that. What I'm doing is actually putting that early on to uh, Patreon so um, people will get to see it on there first before I then put it as part of a review on YouTube. So if you're watching it on Patreon, welcome and if you're watching on youtube a bit later on still welcome but uh just to let you know what i'm kind of doing with those videos um yeah so there's lots of weathering that goes goes on in here it's kind of you can see it's you've got your runway and you're kind of um seeing everything all the background on the back there so it does look as if he's flying through the air the way he's kind of put in there and then the back you've got i think it's like the volleyball and uh, one of the bikes, um, but even in here you can see a lot of their detailing. Um, it's got Maverick and Goose written on it, um, and there's lots of different writing, and there's obviously weathering on it as well. You see on here, you get a picture of um, him in his robot mode, and it shows um, the kind of dates here. So you've got uh, the 16th of the 5th, 1986. And uh, the 26th of the 6th, uh, 2020. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, ages 8 and up, Top Gun, Transformers. And then on the side here, uh, United States of America, Fighter, Weapons School, Tomcat, uh, Transformers Authentic Sign. Uh, nothing really on the top here. And then on the back here, you get uh, some kind of brief bits. Cool Sign, Maverick, Roll, Interceptor, Rank, Lieutenant. Special skills going vertical, weakness jet wash, mission code name Tango Foxtrot, which is TF Transformers. Um, and then what's this on my back here? Rescue <laughs> um, on here. But uh, yeah, that's the, the box. So uh, yeah, pretty cool. Uh, and what we're going to do next is open them up and uh, take a look at what the figure looks like. And here he is out of the box in vehicle mode and uh in vehicle mode certainly uh, i think it's pretty it looks pretty good um they've gone for this kind of weathering effect throughout the throughout it which um close up doesn't look you know look amazing but from kind of here it looks uh pretty good it's only when you get real close up you see it's all kind of like um dots and bits and pieces but it does the it does the job for vehicle mode and there's lots of kind of like tampo paints and lots of bits of little bits on here. Maverick, Goose, um, you know, all the sort of numbers and things on here. Um, various kind of paint details and things like that. Some more tampos on here as well. But it's mainly this, this kind of, um, I think it's like a digital paint job that they've done. I think so anyway. And then the kind of these guns here, these missiles painted white. Um, but you can see underneath it, it's actually pretty bare, um, which actually then comes through into robot mode, um, which is where I think I'm probably gonna have to do some painting on this guy. He does have a, a sort of piece of landing gear that kind of comes down. I'm not sure like what figure this is based off in terms of off an original Transformers figure, you know, what mould they've used for it, whether they've upscaled like a, an old mould on what. Um, but it's quite a, a big old figure to use as a 
bit of a size comparison here. I've got uh, Earthrise Starscream. He's a Voyager figure. So um, he's actually a little bit longer than him and uh, a little bit wider, but those two look quite well together. Okay, quite, that's uh, quite a good match. Uh, these wings do also move, so you can have them in like that, um, or you can move them out. That's as far as they can go. He does come with a few other accessories. So he comes with this uh, kind of volleyball thing here, which has got a, a little hole on for him to hold because um, he comes with two additional hands. So they slide on and off, which I'll show you in robot mode. But uh, the hands are just kind of like cupped like that. And then you just peg the ball onto that and just move that off. It also comes with this um, little motorcycle, which kind of goes in scale kind of, I guess, with the um, with the plane in that mode there. Um, have I got the instructions to hand? I think I've got the instructions to hand, but uh, yeah, the vehicle mode, jet mode, is not, not bad. It's not amazing, but uh, pretty good. Um, I guess as well you could use any of these here uh, for like a flight stand, I'm guessing. Uh, I don't know, do these move? Yeah, these move, but that's the transformation, so it does sort of destroy the sculpt a little bit if you do that. And you've got blasters in the back here as well. So overall, yeah, not bad looking uh, vehicle mode, I don't think. And uh, next up, we'll uh, get him transformed and uh, take a look at him in robot mode. Just as a quick size comparison before we move it on to robot mode. Here he is alongside Ecto-1 here, which is uh, another one of the crossover figures. So you can see they're pretty, um, this one's a, this one, uh, Maverick's a little bit longer and obviously a bit wider. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd show you that because I've got the new version of this one or the new old version of it anyway to uh, review. Um, yeah, so let's uh, get this guy transformed so we can take a look at him. Um, after I remember it. Uh, so start off by just I'm pegging these and moving these off to the side. Same with these as well. Um, I'll get to it in the final thoughts, but uh, my one of my major things with this is just like it being, they're being detailed on that bit, but they're no sort of like real kind of color or paint on it. So it, you kind of lose that level of detail on it. Um, and then from here, uh, just to mention if I hadn't already, um, yeah, there is a landing gear in there, but it doesn't have like a wheel or anything on there. It's just a, a solid piece. Um, and then from here, uh, you kind of want to flick these bits up to the side there like that. And then the arms are kind of pegged in here. So you kind of want to unpeg them like that. These legs uh, are going to kind of unpeg from here, this middle section like that. And then this bit's just going to fold up into there as well. Um, and then these legs here kind of unpeg from there as well. So you can bring those forward and you then to kind of get the legs out, you just kind of fold this bit out here and this bit out here, if we can do it like that. So that is the legs. We'll just adjust the camera slightly, just so you can then see the top half of it. But you just pull them out like that. I had thought maybe this bit moved away, but it doesn't. Um, but you do want to fold these out. If we can get them out. Come on. There we go. It does then allow you a bit of a, a rocker on the ankle there. So that's good. Then this top section here kind of comes up like that. And you kind of want to bring this into there. And this section kind of 
comes back into there like that. So I'm just going to stand him up like that. So then we can concentrate on the kind of this section up here. Um, basically, this bit kind of comes out like that, and folds away like so, and then you kind of bring this back like so. This section here comes forward like that, and the head section will go back. Um, in the meantime, what you have to do is rotate these hands out like so, and then rotate them around. I think you actually rotate this bit around like this as well, and that will, will then bring the arms nice and close. I think that's right. And then this bit will then come down. And then you can push this bit up here like that. And these bits will come up. And I think I've done it around the wrong way. So just rotate those bits around again. Like that. Bring it a bit closer in. I think it's, you just basically want this black piece here as close as you can to the shoulders. And you'll know if you've done it right because it will just fit into that gap if you've done it right. And if you haven't, it doesn't quite go into that gap properly. So let's sort this head out because this head wants to clip it into the back here. That. And yeah, I'm not quite sure if I've done that right or not. It looks mostly right. seeing if there's any other bits that kind of peg in. I think these bits are supposed to peg in here. They actually peg in. Yeah, like that. So that's actually secured the back there. And then you rotate the arms around like that. And then you fold the hands out. You've got two different hands that you can swap out. So same on this side. Obviously, nothing mind-blowingly amazing about the transformation of the hands or anything else like that. Um, it's fairly standard. And there you've got him in his robot mode. And actually, he is a lot better than I thought. Um, I thought this bit was supposed to peg back into there, but... Um, doesn't look as if it if it does at least unless it's just supposed to rest on rest on there um so i apologies if i've got that bit wrong but uh it looks to be okay in that there unless it uh just kind of sits in there a little bit but um yeah you see the these arm pieces just kind of clip into there if they aren't already i'm sure this bit's supposed to clip back into that space there, but uh, it doesn't look as if it does, because this bit here, that's the bit that what you want to connect up just to keep that section in there. So I think that is right. Um, it's a pretty good looking figure actually, uh, better in hand than the pictures give him credit for. He would be a really cool looking figure if he just had a bit more paint on him, especially in robot mode. It, it, it does make him look a little bit dull. But um, the head is great. Um, and it's done like a, a kind of, um, you know, helmet that he would wear if he was sat in a cockpit of a, a jet. Uh, so there's lots of paint on there, Maverick on it. Um, and then you've got this kind of red visor, which goes along, which is on black paint, which is really nice. Um, the head uh, can 
look down, it can look up a bit, uh, down more than anything, and can move from side to side. And as it does, it sort of gives a bit of a confused kind of maverick look to it. Um, but you can, yeah, it can get side to side. But uh, it doesn't go all the way around, which is uh, a bit annoying. The arms rotate round, but uh, they're kind of hindered by this kind of backpack with the wings. Uh, you can extend them out, bring them in, probably prefer them like that. And the arms go out to there, uh, swivel there, which goes all the way around. And the arm bends up to there. And you've got a great big hollow piece in here. And the fists move forward and back. No waist articulation. The legs can go up to there. So you can give a bit of a high kick there. And out to the back. Uh, this piece is supposed to sort of come back here. But I don't think it's, it does actually like peg in or do anything. Uh, the legs go out to the side all the way. So soft ratchets when you do that. Rotation here. And then a bend of the knee that takes you back to there. And the feet. Nothing really falling back. That bit is supposed to clip over there, by the way. I'll give you a bit of extra stability. Uh, and then the feet kind of come out a little bit here. But that's about all that you get with it. And uh, then he's got his kind of weapons that come with. So they're supposed to kind of peg on the back here. So you peg those on there like that. So you can see those at the back. And then these kind of flip open. And you kind of got like a bit of a rifle look to them. And you can just hold those in his hand like that. They fit in fairly well. And... like so so you can hold his guns and for a bit of a size comparison uh we shall bring in old uh i was gonna say marty mcprime but that's not what his name is but uh you know what i mean there he is alongside him so he's a good deal bit bigger he's more of a, a voyager scale type figure definitely but he's pretty cool and then you've got the option then as well uh, for swapping these two hands out, if I can find that. And there's also like a volleyball thing. So you've got the volleyball here. And basically you can swap out either of these hands. And they've both got like a flat hand like this with a little a peg on it like that. And what you can do, as I'll just show you how you do it, is you just slide it off. So you... You see where the kind of mushroom peg is there. Uh, so slide it off like that. And then kind of slide back on. It's not the easiest one to fit. Like that. So it can give you a high five as well. And then you just plant the ball on like that and you say so you can get it like he's just about to serve up volleyball there we can kind of get him so he's uh he's just kind of holding it in his hand like that so it's pretty cool uh i think that's a neat little feature that you've got with it and then you've got that bike here somewhere which doesn't really do a lot just Kind of sits there. So there it is for kind of like a size comparison. And uh, that's pretty much it on the figure, really. Um, what we'll do is we'll tidy them up and uh, we'll do our scores on the doors. Right, so our scores on the doors for old Maverick here. Um, articulation, uh, pretty good throughout. There are a few little bits where you think you could do with a bit more articulation on the head, on the um, ankles here, potentially as well. Um, so, you know, seven out of 10, pretty solid, but uh, you're certainly not winning any awards there. Um, transformation, uh, eight, I guess, uh, you know, um, it didn't transform how I thought. It's quite cool how you kind of 
move those arms around uh, and they sort of tuck away kind of um, from forward to back in um, jet mode. I think I've seen that somewhere on maybe one of the Cybertron figures or something like that. So I think that's where they kind of nicked that. The figure does feel like it should be smaller. It's been upscaled, um, if you know what I mean, where where you upscale a figure, sometimes you lose that kind of level of detail. Um, it feels a little bit like that. Um, in terms of kind of accessories, actually, I think they're pretty good. I'd probably go uh, an eight on that. You've got the kind of extra hands that you can swap out. You've got the the little um, bike, which painted, I guess, you know, I guess that bike doesn't really do much, but in terms of posing it, it looks quite cool. And then you get the ball that comes with it. Um, it comes with a couple of guns as well. Uh, it just would have been nice if they were they were painted, which comes around to the paint. Um, you know, it's kind of like a, a, you know, two stories really, because in jet mode, you know, he looks like he's peppered with paint. Then you come through into robot mode and, and all of that paint is on the other side. So you get some of it on the kind of torso section and um, on the face, which is really well painted. But the rest of the figure looks really kind of quite plain and bland, which is a, a real shame. So I'd have to give it um, kind of like a six out of ten for paint. Um, build feels pretty solid. No, no issues at all. You know, nothing to write home about, but pretty solid. You know, probably a 7 out of 10, something like that. X Factor, well, um, do you like Transformers and do you like Top Gun? So that's, that's the thing you've got to be asking. If you do, then yeah, it's, it's got a huge X Factor. I'm mega into Transformers. I like Top Gun. Um, and, you know, I've got a few of these crossover figures. And just, it's quite a neat cool figure to have on display so for me i'd probably rank it sort of like an 8 out of 10 in that respect uh price uh, i think there are these, these these ones are about 40 50 pounds i picked it up on hasbro pulse which actually was a, a pretty slick kind of ordering system it worked pretty well um you know got it nice and quick um no issues there at all so i would recommend that but it is priced around about kind of 50 quid, I think. So, yeah, in terms of price, I would think maybe a better price point probably would have been around 30, if I'm honest with you. Um, so price, I'd probably have to give it like a six as well. So overall, um, you know, he's, he's somewhere between a six and a seven out of 10. Um, I'm feeling generous, so I'll give him a seven. But uh, he's certainly not a figure that you have to have in your collection. Um, it's just a quite neat kind of niche sort of toy. And if you're into your crossover stuff, I'd I'd pick it up. If you're not really into that kind of stuff, leave it. You're not, you know, desperately missing out anything. But for me, it's quite a cool toy, and I'll probably have him on display a bit like this with the old uh, volleyball. Like that and the bike in the background. Anyway, that's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching. And as always, stay safe, stay healthy, stay connected. Bye-bye for now.